Ooh, welcome on down to another main tutorial, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. What is going on, everybody? Hey, Razzle Juice are bringing you a tutorial on how to set your light gun controls in MAME using a mouse. This isn't going to be using a light gun peripheral. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those yet, but once we get one, rest assured, we'll do a tutorial video on how to set that up. Whatever one we do, we'll learn the whole system and calibration and all that stuff. This is just going to be using a mouse. You can use a keyboard or a controller if you want to, for whatever reason, when playing light gun games. Um, but you're going to want to stick to using a mouse. That's what I prefer. That's what I would recommend. And even if you get one of those like light gun peripherals, it basically takes over your mouse pointer. It's basically like you're using a, a pointer for your screen, essentially. So let's go ahead and get started with that real quick, though I want to mention. Uh, again, thank you so much for taking your time to check out this video, see what's going on with us. If you want to see more arcade meme tutorial stuff, arcade action, other action, feel free to become a Dazzler by hitting that subscribe button and also click on the little notification bell to get updated whenever we throw out any random thing as we tend to kind of be a little topsy-turvy with when we put things out. Uh, we also have ways to support the channel in the description down below like PayPal me and uh, Patreon and whatnot, but I'll... Let's talk about that later. You're here for setting up the controls. So, it's actually not that difficult to do. It's uh, pretty easy. What you want to do first is go to your options, and then you want to go down to uh, default system options. It's going to bring up this right here. And you want to go to controllers, check in, uh, tick on uh, enable mouse input, hit apply. Then you want to go to, uh, bu -bu -bu, where is it? Controller mapping. Now, note light gun device. Now, I already have mine set for mouse. Uh, when you first boot up MAME, it'll be set to keyboard. So what you want to do is you want to hit that drop down menu, hit mouse, apply, OK, and that's it. You now have your mouse set up for MAME. Now, there are little things you can do um, to kind of uh, get that going. So let's go ahead and fire up a light gun game, and I'll uh, show you around. So we got the game booted up right here, but you're noticing something. We have an issue. It doesn't look like our mouse is working quite right. So, um, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and uh, configure the controls for this sucker. So what you're gonna do is let's first pause the emulator just to eliminate any possible. Uh, so down here, we're gonna hit Tab. Pause as default key P. By the way, we're gonna go down to this machine. Ah, okay, that's why I, I remember I was playing around with using the controller. Trust me when I say you don't want to use an analog joystick for your light gun games. Just take my word for it. So let's go ahead and set light gun X analog. So to do that, it's very simple. Let's say uh, your controls weren't set to your mouse or set to something else. So all you're going to do is just move the mouse to the right. Oh, I kind of moved it. I messed up. Let's try that again. Uh, let's go ahead and delete. Enter. Right. There you go. You saw down there it said mouse to X. So uh, it reads this as mouse 2. I do have a second mouse pull plugged in and I'll go over how to set up two mice if you want to uh, jam with a friend. So let's go ahead and click that. We're going to move the mouse up. You can see a mouse 2Y. Then we're going to go to button 1 and just click the left mouse button and there we go. Evidently I forgot to do the uh, start 1 button. There we go. Player 1. See if I can get the that moved out of the way. So there we go. We've got this going on here. And uh, remember, for lethal enforcers, you have to actually aim downwards and shoot. The get, the cabinet would actually have you aim the gun off down off the screen and then click to reload. Most light gun games are going to have just one or two buttons. They may have. Uh, well, actually, no. Most are going to have one button. Some may have two. Like Carnival, for example, you can. Um, you can emulate reloading the gun with a push of the mouse button. And then, you know, if there's a gun, if there's a game that has like special controls like Time Crisis with a pedal or uh, a button to like launch special powers or whatever, that, that's gonna be a, you can, you can map that to the mouse as well. So that's, oh, that's pretty much it. Now there are things you can play around with too uh, when it comes to the emulator to kind of like change things around if you want to. Let's actually, let's go ahead and go to, uh, let's just go to this menu here so we don't have the gun running, the game running in the background. Uh, you want to go to, not slider controls, you want to go to analog controls here. 
So, here we have the analog controls. So, analog controls are good for, like, if you're playing with a controller. Digital speed is basically, um, basically how, how fast you're gonna, it makes your controller move when you're using, uh, you're using something other than a mouse or an analog stick. Sensitivity is gonna be what you wanna mess with. This is basically your mouse sensitivity. So, we can go ahead and up this, and note how I aim faster on the x-axis. I usually just leave it at default, and I just get used to it that way. But that's, uh, and then you have to, you have to uh, edit it for X and Y as well. So if you go and you put this to say, you know, 60, note how I don't, I'm not aiming as fast going up and down as I am left and right. So you have to do the X and Y. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you are playing a game and your shots seem like they're straying, you're gonna wanna use the game's um, menu. The game's, uh, like we're at the service menu. Service menu for Lethal Enforcers, unfortunately, uh, isn't really that much, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's just to make sure that you can actually hit these big white squares. It doesn't really do much, but some uh, games will have a whole thing where you can go and you can test and calibrate uh, the guns and make sure everything's lined up right. Like, Zombie Raid, for example, that tends to be, like, off center and you have to like go in and calibrate the guns and stuff like that um, there may be some problems too like i know with area 51 I, I get that calibrated and it still kind of slightly pulls to the left if any of you watched my uh let's plays of that you probably noticed that it was slightly off you also get some cool options too uh, some version of the main like this one will let you uh, change to different crosshair to different things so there's different colors you can use I believe there is a way to actually edit and add in your own crosshairs, but I will go over uh, still playing around with that, and as soon as I know, I'll let you know. And visibility just basically controls if the crosshair is on or off or not. Like with auto, for example, if you just let it sit there, uh, it'll it'll shut off on its own until you move it, which I really should use for my let's plays. So, <laughs> okay, so that's simple enough. Now let's say you have two mice, right? You want to play lethal enforcers with a friend. So what you're going to want to do, and one thing I want to also mention too, if you go into the game and it's not working and you check the controls and mouse controls are set, um, or it's not even reading your mouse and you're trying to do the um, input support, always double check. Uh, you can always go to properties and then just go ahead, check controllers, make sure things are checked there, and then um, go to controller mapping, make sure that's checked. Now, what we're gonna do for multiple mice is go to controller. So you can see I already got this checked here, down here, multiple mice, so I'll go ahead and just check, uncheck that. Hit apply, and let's go ahead and reboot the game and go from there. All right, so we still got our first mouse working, so let's go ahead and see if main is reading the second mouse that I got plugged in. So we're gonna go to input this machine. Let's go to player two. Yep, there we go, we got mouse button. Yeah, for some reason it's reading the second mouse I plugged in as mouse one. Doesn't really matter. That's just how Mame's reading it. Uh, let's see, uh, where is Y2? Here we go. And there you go. You can see it's moving around. We are good to go. And I'm gonna try to... I'm trying to... Trying to this is really weird. Yeah, I've got this like weird setup going on where like my my right hand is using player two and my left hand is kind of like reaching across the keyboard to try to like use player one. I am not a left-handed mouse user as you can see uh, at all. Like if I was just to focus on that, there. <laughs> okay, I can kind of do it, but yeah. I, I, okay, but there you go. You have two mice, so you can uh, go uh, go John Woo in your games. And that is, that's basically it. That's all you need to know to set the controls for uh, light gun games. Now, note that not all games you think would be light gun would be light gun. Um, I know I've seen a couple games where it actually uses a joystick instead of a light gun. A good example would be the Jurassic Park game, not Lost World, but the one by Sega where, you know, the one that used to be in Chuck E. Cheese where the seat would move, that actually uses a joystick. Um, I'm not going to go into those, especially because I'm still trying to figure out how to get that to work right. It's a little quirky. Let's go with that. A little quirky. A little quirky for me to figure out. So, going into that, but that's all you need to know about mouse controls. Um, if 
yeah, that's all you need to know about mouse controls. Um, sometimes you won't be able to shoot outside of the screen to reload in all games and all angles. Like, uh, Area 51's like that. Remember how I said it kind of pulls slightly to the left? So I actually can't reload the gun off the side of the screen to the right. I'm always going... Like, if you watch the Let's Play... I don't remember if it was the right or the left, but if you watch the Let's Play, you can, you'll notice I avoid... I'll do, like, the top or the bottom or the left, but I always avoid the right or whatever side of the screen. I avoid one of the sides of the screen because that's the problem that happens. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, always feel free, of course, to drop a comment down below. We do read our comments. We do respond to them when more than the same timestamp several other people have done. But hey, you know, everybody's got their favorite moments, right? So we do read comments. If you want suggestions or help with anything, just let us know. We'll do what we can to help you out. And of course, uh, there are some other things too. And remember, if you liked what you saw here and you want to see more things, you want to help support the channel, always toss us a subscription. Becoming part of the community of Dazzlers is great as it's ringing a bell so you can kind of get notified about new things when they appear on the channel. If you want to help monetarily support the channel, there is also uh, Patreon which is a more of a long-term thing if you want to long-term donate. We also have Co- uh, not Kofi. We got rid of Kofi. We're doing PayPal.me for a one-time donation. You will need a pay- I believe you need a PayPal account to do PayPal.me though. And then uh, we also have affiliate link down below with TubeBuddy. So if you're a YouTube creator, um, that's a really handy tool to use. It's got a whole lot of handy SEO and key phrase and other things like that. In fact, this video most likely was brought to you by TubeBuddy, meaning we were able to use the tools and techniques and things that TubeBuddy gave us to find the keywords so people can actually find the video and watch it. Pretty cool stuff. That being said, uh, my name is Russell Joestar. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next uh, MAME tutorial. Take care everybody.